Send me to Parliament to be a bloody nuisance. Yes. Hi, I'm Paul Barry, and they're off in the British election with Brexit buccaneer Nigel Farage launching his campaign last week on the pier at Clacton on Sea. What we need is to reactivate a people's army. A people's army against the establishment. A people's army who want to get this country back on track. But amid cheers from his would-be foot soldiers, not everyone in the Essex holiday town wanted to enlist. With one 25-year-old woman rushing up to the right-wing populist and chucking a milkshake in his face. Banana flavour from Maccas, in case you're wondering. Sorry, Nigel. She was duly arrested on suspicion of assault, while he was soon smiling for the cameras, re with a new drink in hand and a cheeky response. My milkshake brings all the people to the rally. So, what does the self-styled people's champion, who came third in last year's I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, mean by getting Britain back on track? Yes, you guessed it, keeping immigrants out. <laughs> the UK Reform Party, which Farage now leads, wants to cut net migration to zero. Or, in shorthand, fuck off, we're full. And his supporters love that idea. I feel like a foreigner in my own country. That's what I feel like. And he shows that you can get ahead even if you are a racist. And Farage has been fanning those feelings, attacking young Muslims in this recent interview. We have a growing number of young people in this country who do not subscribe to British values, in fact, loathe much of what we stand for. Are we talking about Muslims here? We are. And doubling down on that when challenged by the BBC and pointing to a town in the north of England and saying, I could take you to streets in Oldham right now where no one speaks English. While also taking a swipe at PM Rishi Sunak, who is of Indian heritage and who apologised for missing the D-Day ceremony by claiming, He's not basically patriotic. He doesn't care about our history, frankly, our culture. Yuck. But, Despite widespread outrage at Farage playing the race card, which is powering right-wing parties right across Europe, the leaders of Britain's two lane parties are doing it too. With Rishi Sunak also promising to cut immigration, and Keir Starmer accusing the Tories of letting too many migrants in. So, is Farage a shoo-in? Well, he's tried seven times before to become an MP, and he's not keen to be reminded of that, telling a BBC News reporter when challenged. I think you're very, very boring, and you ought to do rather better as the state broadcaster, in my view. But the polls are saying Farage could win this time, and UK reform could get up to four seats in Parliament. Meanwhile, there are plenty of people who cannot stand the guy, as Farage was reminded on the campaign trail this week. <laughs> but all that does is make more headlines and give him fuel for his campaign. Nigel Farage has had building rubble thrown at him on the campaign trail in South Yorkshire. I will not surrender. Meanwhile, Farage is always welcome in Australia with the Murdoch Sky News. And sitting down for a recent chat with his chum, Donald Trump, he was keen to advertise that relationship. Our friends at Sky News Australia wanted me to ask you this. Friends with Farage. If that were me, it's something I would not want advertised. <laughs>